Jamaica's 110 meter hurdle sensation Rashid Broadbell. This is going to be epic, people. Epic. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it, Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at it and we break down the races. So, ready? Yep. Good to go as we look towards the World Athletics Championships 2023, which takes place in Budapest in a few days' time. Jamaica has a plethora of female sprinters in the 100 meters, 200 meters, uh, the 100 meter hurdles, and the 400 meters, the one lapper, who we think have a huge chance of meddling. But the truth be told is that on the men's section, although there's a lot of great talent, we don't really have any men that we can say we are almost 100% certain will be able to hit the medal table, particularly get the, the possibility of winning a gold medal. The only Jamaican that I can think of who fits into that category in the men's sprints, as I said, the 100 meters, 200 meters, 110 meter hurdles for the men and or the 400 meters, the one lap is Rashid Broadbell. Rashid Broadbell is perhaps the only Jamaican who we think has a very, very, very huge chance, over 75% chance of walking away with, with a medal and a very, very high chance, a 65% chance of walking away with a gold medal. This will be epic. Broadbell enters the World Championships with the fastest time in the men's 110 meter hurdles, a time of 12.94 for the 2023 season, his new season's best, his new personal best. Sent away cleanly, good start for Tyler Mason, also running well is Orlando Bennett, Rashid Broadbell at this stage now takes the lead, Rashid Broadbell steps forward, the Commonwealth Champion being chased by Hansa Parchman, Rashid Broadbell runs away, 12 points! This new PB and world lead boosting his confidence, uh, which at this point, as far as I'm concerned, the Commonwealth champion from 2022 is perhaps the first, well, certainly in the top two ranked in the world in terms of the men's 110 meters hurdles, as he stated. You know, so I just want to give God thanks for everything I've done for me to keep me at the, um, the championship. Let's talk about some of that. You, you looked at your paper when you crossed the line. You also have it in your hand. I saw you reading from it. What's, what's the motivation there? Um, for the front, is my, my teammate Sachin Dennis on the front. And the stuff that I wanted to achieve today. But did you get it? So I was trying to get the 1290 much. Did it come much? A lot of work is going to be done coming up for the rest of time until World Championship. So, I mean, it's... It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good things going on right now. That's a gift thanks to that. It's a very stark field, so I have to talk to you. How do you look at, at Jamaica's chances of me making the podium at the World Championships? I mean, um, as I said, some more work has to be done to get to the World Championship. I mean, we just come off the way, it's just like probably a week out. So as I said, it's going to be a different type of training now going on the World Championship. So, I mean, as I said, as I said, the time today is just great things going to happen going forward in the season. And we agree with his assessment. The elite performance athlete is the best in the world at this point in time, with his greatest rival being Grant Holloway. Now, the last time they met in an, an epic showdown was at the Zurich Diamond League, where he was the favorite to win. But in this instance, Grant Holloway got out of those blocks like a lightning. And although um, uh, Rashid Bodbell closed, he just probably just ran out of real estate. Holloway rises slowly but gets away very, very quickly. Broadbell trying to go with him, cutting him over on the far side as well. That's trying to get there. But look at this. This is brilliant hurdling from Grant Holloway. Broadbell's nearly going to catch him, but not quite. 13 02. However, in their last meeting for the 2023 season, it was Rashid Broadbell who won in 13.08 ahead of the USA's Grant Holloway who ran 13.12 to take the second spot. This time at the third time of basking, we're away. And Holloway straight into his running. Such a brilliant technician. All the work done from the waist down. 
uh, Devon Allen under pressure from uh, Parchman. Broadbell going well. Broadbell putting. Oh! Now, let me just say, first of all, it was Rashid Broadbell's 23rd birthday yesterday. So we want to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. The truth is Rashid Broadbell has schooled Grant Holloway on several occasions. In fact, I would say at this point, he is Grant Holloway's arch nemesis. If this were a movie, he is the one person who has whooped Grant Holloway fairly consistently for the last 12 months. And yet, I concede, Holloway has won about equally. And like I said in that last major um, competition, which was at the Zurich Diamond League, because um, Rashid Broadbill was not a factor at the World Championships last year, but he certainly enters as the person to beat, I think, for this year. And this means, because remember last year, Jamaica did not win a gold medal. In fact, Jamaica did not win an individual male medal last year at World Championships 2022 in Oregon. So, in my opinion, the Jamaican with the greatest chance to give us a medal in the tra on the track, that is, has got to be Rashid Broadbill. And I think that this showdown between himself and Grant Holloway is going to be epic because here's how this has to um, play out. If Grant Holloway gets out of those blocks fast enough, and he's known for getting out fast, and Rashid is left in the blocks, Rashid will not be able to catch it. However, if Broadbell gets out a millisecond behind and or with Grant Holloway, Holloway has on no occasion been able to beat, beat um, Rashid Broadbell. In fact, most of the time Broadbell has actually beaten Grant Holloway, it's been him coming from behind. So it just depends on how much real estate he has to make up. Now, I'm certain knowing how the elite team works, I am certain that what they've been working on is his start. Once he has the right start, Holloway has almost no chance. Now, I know that some of you are going to be offended because Holloway is an incredible champion, but we just have to be realistic. Check it. Most of the time that he's beaten Grant Holloway, he's come from behind to beat him. Almost every occasion with the exception of maybe one or two. So Holloway, why is Holloway beat him at Zurich Diamond League? Is Holloway got out of those blocks like lightning. And I know that they've already analyzed if, if someone like myself, who doesn't know enough about track and field, is able to see the obvious, I'm pretty sure the coaching team at Elite are already fully aware of what I'm saying. So I'm sure that what they've been working on is his start. If he gets out of those blocks, if he's out of those blocks with Grant Holloway at the same time or ahead, Holloway has absolutely no chance of winning once he executes his race perfectly. Now, that's the other thing I have to concede. With hurdles, it's a very technical race. It's not just about speed, it's about technicality. And if the Commonwealth Games winner of 2022, the champion of the Commonwealth Games in the men's 110 meter hurdles, Rashid Broadbell, clips one single hurdle, that could be it. That could be game over. But I think the person with the psychological edge, the technical edge, and the speed going in has got to be Rashid Broadbell. So, in my humble opinion, Rashid Broadbell is Jamaica's greatest opportunity to win a men's track gold medal at this year's uh, 2022 World Championships in Budapest. But this, of course, is my two cents. I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit subscribe button, hit notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings and queens. Bless up.